Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazoo, welcome back to another Monday video here. Today, I welcome you guys to the, I wasn't official, but the first Dragon Raid guide that I'll be doing and also to show the usefulness or the, or the importance of Dragon Raids, I will be unboxing a photo of 75, mostly level 50 plus plus and above dragons, some are 60, but well, mostly around 50 guys, 50 to 55, some 40, 1 or 2 30s, but 75 all right just to show you guys uh that is mostly 50 51 50 64 55 55 42 54 46 54 52 58 50 so these are the ones that i've not collected which i'm gonna do so now because i did the math i have exactly uh 75 boxes uh to open all right but before we go about unboxing all those things i'll be talking in specifics as a guy uh, what constitute, constitutes a raid team and how you should go about uh, building your raid team but before we get to that I want to first mention that uh, building your raid team should and always be your first priority when you play seven nights but of course this is uh, subject subjected to your how to say your RNG your luck because not everybody is gonna get a uh, five or four four star chains like me when I do uh, three star fusions. So some people will get droopy, so it really depends on RNG, some people don't get Shane and droopy, but you will definitely get a 4 star droopy because of the game story quest, so you cannot say that you do not have a droopy, so everyone will definitely have one droopy, but we'll talk about the heroes that you usually use in a dragon raid lineup, alright, so I'm going to show you my team 1 here, alright, that is supposed to be, uh, I'll talk about Shane versus droopy later on, so the typical team 1 lineup that you should have as an early game player is Shane, Velika, Seek, uh, if you can get Eileen, that will be great if you cannot get Eileen, but you should get Eileen in team 1, alright? So if you are not able to get Eileen as a first 7 night, try to get her on your uh, second month 7 night selector report. Eileen will usually be one of the first few 7 nights that you should choose because she's able to pair up with other physical damage dealers like you know if you want to build a ray even though I don't recommend you building a ray but she can pair up like Jave or any other physical damage AoE uh, users that you can use for farming for others but let's not focus on that talk about that next time so typical team 1 lineup for early game will be Shane, Velika, alright this guy uh, Eileen and Lina so why these 5 guys? Kazu, why these 5 guys? okay Velika, why? because she has a passive Reduces magic damage received for all allies by 50%. The dragon's damage, you know, be it the normal attack or the skills that the dragon casts, they are all magic damage based. So having Velika increases the survivability of your entire team. The alternative to Velika will be Espada, alright, which most people will use in team 2. Alright, she also has the same passive at 6 stars, the, the percentage is the same, this one is the 5 star version, that's why it's 10% lesser, but 6 star Espada will perform the same utility option as Velika. Alright, so damage reduction, second thing we look at is the immunity to stun, alright, see this guy, this gentleman here has 6 turns stun immunity, Dragon has a skill called, I think, something of quick that has the chance to stun your lineup. So you want your lineup to be able to be not stunned for 6 turns because if you're Shane, which is a main DPS, if she gets stunned, she cannot DPS. So you want to have this guy, the alternative version of Seek is actually a guy called Karen, all right, which I don't have, that's why I don't have team 2. I believe it's under normal... I'm trying to find him. It's not under normal. Adventurous, yeah it is, all right. Master Elementalist Carrion, alright, immune to stun for 6 turns, and we'll talk about team 2 later, alright, so you can see that Carrion is actually a healer, alright, Carrion is actually a healer, and she basically, I mean, he basically has uh, 2 healing skills, 1 single target, and 1 AoE, and then immunity to stun, alright, so Karen is the alternative unit, alright, so if you don't get sick early in game and you want a stun immunity unit, you can use Karen, alright, let's go back there, and the next person you want to have is, is a damage booster. So if you don't get Eileen as a first random 7 knights and you got someone called Delons, which is this guy over here, it's not all bad, alright? He increases damage for all allies by 40% and the difference between Delons and Eileen is Eileen increases only physical base damage, alright? Delons, on the other hand, increases both physical and 
magical damage. It increases both damage, alright? Doesn't specify here, so it means that it increases both, but the percentage is lowered by 20%, alright? So if you get Dallas as a first Serenite, he can be used in a, in a team if you do have Eileen, alright? So, for Lina, alright? Lina has a passive, which decreases. This one doesn't work, by the way, because, okay, one thing you need to know about Dragon Raids is that the Dragon cannot be debuffed. Alright, this is why you don't bring Ace. Why we talk about Ace? Because Ace has a passive. Where's my Ace? Where my Ace at? Uh, Ace has a passive that increases all damage inflicted on enemies by 50% and decreases defense by 50%. Basically, he, he, get, he makes people take a lot more damage. But because Dragons cannot be debuffed, alright, his passive works like a debuff. You'll see icons on enemies when you see the, the debuff or the, this passive effect working. So, you cannot debuff a Dragon. So, any passive that, that works like a debuff on uh, enemies or targets will not work on dragons, which is why this is why I don't bring an ace. So you bring Lina primarily for increasing your Ellie's damage by 50% for two turns. So she's basically a damage buffer. So her, her alternative will be this person or this lady called Victoria. Alright, increases all Ellie's physical and magic attack by 50%. So thereby, your team 2 is actually the alternative. So if I'm using Shane for team 1, here I'll put. For example, okay, yes, my team two. I'll have my Droopy. You know, I'll put my my where's my Sparta at? I'll put my Victoria. All right, I'll put my Sparta in, and then I'll put my Dalons into the lineup as well. The only person that I'm missing right now for team two is Carrion. All right, I should usually try to get him, but. The thing is, you don't need to work on a team 2 until your team 1 is actually nice and dandy. Because when I first played the game, I actually tried to make a team 2 and team 2 will just get wiped if they are not geared. So you should totally focus on gearing a team 1 first. And here's where I recommend that you get Shane first. And I talked about it in my previous video. So let's talk a bit about Shane versus Droopy right now. Why is Shane better for newer players? Number 1. She is immune to all magic damage for 3 turns, which means the dragon guy do 0 damage to your Shane, which means when your Shane doesn't have you no know, good gear with high defense, you know, she will be at least able to survive for 3 turns. That means you can ignore uh, gearing her up for armors, even though you can just slot in counter rate armors on her. Uh, you want to get, you can focus on getting your weapons up first and she will be able to do some decent damage for 3 times before you know your entire team wipes out. And then after that, alright, you can start to work on a team 2, but before you even do that, you need to, you know, transcend your Valakar to 40, you need to get your uh, Lina to 40. Why? Because once you get to level 50 and above dragons, they hit really hard. By turn 5 or 6, my Lina is usually dead already, even with 4.1k HP, even though I have not really get her fully, but I'm able to do uh, 50 to 55 dragons with 3 keys. Ideally, you just need to spend 2 and you get first place anyway. And I'll talk about the rewards of dragons really very shortly when I do an unboxing. So, Droopy is really better for early and mid game. And, not Droopy, Shane is better for early to mid game. Alright, apologies for that. So, why is Droopy better? Why do you see people like Remino? Why do you see people like the Dark Mew? Why do you see people using Droopy at end game? Alright, this is the reason why. Uh, Droopy is good in endgame compared to Shane. If you look at Shane, she doesn't have any passive or things that makes her uh, increase the damage potential of a team. Why do I say that? If you look at Droopy here, her passive increases all Ellie's lethal attack by 50%. In other words, if your Droopy is geared, if the units in front, your frontliners, are geared as well, your Droopy will be able to increase the overall DPS ceiling for the entire team. All right? Imagine Droopy and Shane, all right, they increase the, they do the same damage. But at one point, when you're transcending your frontliners, your total damage for your first team with Shane is going to plateau, while Droopy's one will continue to increase because she increases the lethal attack of your teammates by 50%, which means when your frontliners get better geared, when they get transcended to 40, the more the damage they're going to do, which is why Droopy is the one that people use in endgame. But one more thing to add, Droopy is only good, not only good, Droopy is a hero that if you use in raids, you have to manual to achieve a uh, quote unquote better auto scores than Shane. Because uh, Droopy requires you to press this sniping stance, alright, and I do not know the AI or priority you know, skill usage of 
characters, when you have so many attacking characters, I know that there's some kind of priority where, you know, healing skills will be useless if people are dying, that kind of stuff. But Droopy is not a good auto uh, dragon character. Even though in the end, when you have strong team 1 and team 2, you can just auto both or get around the same score. But if you are a manual user in end game, Droopy, you will need to uh, actually use Droopy manually for you to achieve consistent uh, success compared to Shane, which is actually better for autos. So in the end, you will get both, alright? But if you're an early mid-game player, go for Shane first. Highly recommended. But as I mentioned, it is affected by RNG. Some people don't get Shanes at all when they do fusion. Some people don't get uh, Droopies at all. So if you're someone that get like 5 Droopies in a row, then yeah, yeah sure, go for a Droopy first. But, highly recommend Shane first because of all the reasons that I mentioned. 3 turn immunity to magic. And she's better as a solo DPS dealer while your frontliners are still weak. And I say this after I'm in the game 5 months, alright? Only 5 months, almost 6 months right now into the game, I've actually reached this stage. And I kind of forced myself to get a level 40 Droopy. I'll say that my Shane will be good for another 1.5 months to 2 months more, which means I can actually focus on getting these guys to 40 first before I actually get a Droopy. But because I want to show you guys the comparison, and I really want to uh, share based on the experiences that I have on both characters. My, my Droopy is around the same gear, in fact better gears than my Shane by the way in terms of defense and jewels they're around the same so in fact my Droopy is kind of better geared so I kind of rushed it out with 360 Topaz fusions <sighs> let's not talk about that but that's about it for Remden 1 Guess who has the last laugh now? Me H-A-H-A-H-A Sun Wakong is got to smack your faces Okay, this, this donation is talking about the Sun Wukong uh, revamp announcement, and yeah, that will be for another video. Alright, so now we come to the highlight of this video, guys. Oh man, my voice, my voice just broke. Which is the chest opening, guys. Chest opening. Alright, chest opening. I think I did mention something important, which is how the uh, characters in Raid, some of them are actually going to be awakened. Okay, I'm just going to touch on it, alright, because we are not going to get awakened anytime soon. But basically, Shane and Droopy both will have their awakened state, so that's not to worry. Velika will be awakened, this is why you don't actually put Espada in Team 1, you keep Velika here. Alright. Uh, Sig will also be awakened, so I know Lina has an awakened version as well. So all these dudes will get awakened, so just FYI. But the Dragon team doesn't really change, except I believe some of the Korean units, uh, I know Rimino talk about this guy called Bayjack or what Pascal or something and then some people were talking about the viability of a person called Lee Jung replacing uh, Victoria. I might test that out by the way when I actually have spare resources. Some people said that you can actually use uh, Lee Jung instead of Victoria in the second team or something like you can. But the thing about Lee Jung is or Victoria both. Okay the thing why people don't want to use Victoria or kind of thing is because Victoria is actually I'm mean, just gonna confirm. Yeah, she's universal element. And usually you want to use universal element for your seven knights or four lords. Even though some four lords and seven knights are, you know, fire element, that kind of stuff. But I have touched on that. We'll talk about, we'll talk about that next time when we get actually get awakened, which is at least two to three months later, alright? Alright, we have come to this, okay? I have been having a bad luck streak for quite a long time. Close to three weeks, I guess. Fusions, nothing good. Summoning, nothing good. Refusions, nothing good. So, I went really, I really tried hard. I tried really hard. I tried hard to get level 50 plus dragons and above, guys. And if I don't get anything good out of this 75 boxes, I'll be very, very sad. I'll just be frank here, guys. Straight up. Alright. Okay, so let's talk about why dragon raids are good, alright? And we're going to do a boxing. Number one. You will get crafting materials. Alright, we'll talk about what you should use to craft later after I open up my rewards because then I'll have resources. You can actually craft uh, weapons and armors, both physical and magical type and armor. Alright, you can craft 30, 100, and 500. We'll talk about that later. And you can actually get 6 star, 4 star to 6 star uh, armors and weapons directly from the chest itself. And level 50 chests gives a decent chance to get something good. But if you actually do level 99 dragons like Remino and you get first place, a first place level 99 dragon chest has a 50% chance to get a 6 star item. This is why dragons are good. Alright, and this is why you need to prioritize dragons. 
because if you want, you, you can pay to win all day, guys. You can pay to win all day, but you will never have enough weapons. Like, even if you buy the package, they only give you like one or two boxes, right? How are you going to kill five guys with two speed weapons? And the best speed weapons in the game, even though you can open as many fallout weapons as you want, but the best weapons in the game right now are dragons. 240 attack base and 27 speed. You can only get them from dragons, I think. Yes, you can only get them from dragons. So if you want to gear your dudes for PvE and PvP, the only place you're gonna get the best of the best stuff is from dragons. So, let's see if it's worth it. 14 skills. Alright, 5 star. There's a fodder right there. 4 star. See, I'm getting a lot of 4 star uh, fodders that you can use for rank ups if you're a new player. Alright, 6 star! Okay, this is, this is the first sad violent moment. 6 star, I got the lowest row. alright. When you get a 6 star dragon weapon, it's between 180 base attack to 240. I got 180. But, for lethal attack, I believe 32% is the highest, guys. Hello? Is 32% the highest? I don't know, whatever, alright. 20, 5 star, 10 horns, and 5 star dragons give a lot more materials, which is why I actually do 5 star. So 5 star, again, 4 star, 10 skills, 20 skills, 7 skills, that means that's not level 50. Okay, not too bad, HP, armor, this one can give to some of your weaker units that you use for fun, sometimes for utility. But you can see, so far so good, in terms of the rewards that we are getting. I'm actually shitting myself, but... <sighs> Alright, we got one 6 star weapon so far. Alright. I don't know how many chests I opened. I haven't counted. I'm just gonna see how many I get out of 75. I've counted. I have 75 chests, guys. Another 5 star weapon here. We can still craft, by the way. We can still craft. So it's all is not lost, guys. All hope is not lost. Oh man, this is sad. This is getting to be rather depressing. 5 star again. We're gonna do the rank ups as well as the crafting, alright? I might run out of space by the way. Yep, I ran out of space. No! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Where is some free 5 star? Okay. Let's find a one. Okay, we're gonna power this up. I'm not doing this efficiently by the way. There's actually an efficient way to power up your. Uh, weapons, so you actually use the, you know, the, the, the fullest potential of your weapons, oh my god! So, okay... We're not gonna rank it up, but we're gonna, we're not gonna do the rank up first, we're gonna open everything first, I think I used enough already, I think I can open the rest of the boxes. Alright, let's go back, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. The thing that you get here, right, when you receive it, it's already fixed. You cannot change. <sighs> Another 6 star! 32% lethal! Oh my god! <laughs> if this was 240, my Shin could have been have could have gotten a better weapon. So this is no upgrade. This is another food. Alright. So I got 2 6 stars so far. I do not know how many chests. I'm actually running out already. 2 6 stars so far and both are meh. Okay, this is, this is, I will not say anything first, because I have not actually finished, alright, so we'll do the rank ups first, followed by the craft, alright, so, so, two six stars out of 75 dragons, guys, alright, two six stars out of 75 dragons, mostly, uh, mostly, mostly, mostly level 50 and above, mostly. I will say a good 70% of them were uh, level 50 and above. Could be wrong. But we have two weapons here. Let's see how many. I think we can get, we can get three. Let's see if we can get three. Alright, power up. Uh, I'm keeping those HP armors. I'm throwing this away because this thing is useless. Uh, don't have any more useless things. I actually want to keep the 6 star things for, <sighs> for power ups, but... You know, it's inefficient Friday, somewhat. So, goodbye. This is so inefficient, man! Actually, fuck this two armors. 
Yeah, let's let's throw away this one. Let's throw away one then. All right, we throw away two six star guys just for you guys because I want to do three rank ups. Three is my favorite number. All right, we have three rank ups right now. I'm gonna do the first one. Sometimes you know when you do rank ups, you can get uh seven items. So we got a shit one. Hundred k per rank up by the way. I remember I went broke when I did rank ups the last time on the video. Third is shite. All right, third times the charm. You know, this is actually good if I didn't already have I Empress Eileen Spirit on my chain. We're gonna keep this one in case in future we need it. But it's not too bad, you see, one out of three we got a seven night weapon, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I don't need it. That's why I'm kinda salty. But, you know, still good, alright. So we, do, we still have enough to craft here. And I really want speed weapons. Alright, okay, so you look at this right now. So when do I craft 30, 100 or 500? If you're an early game player, I would, I would say that it is actually better for you to craft 30. Because you will not be able to do 30 and above dragons. Because 30, if you notice, right, all the dragons that I killed, they gave a lot of 4 star uh, fodders. A lot of 4 star stuff. And when you cannot really kill dragons fast at the start, you will not be able to get a lot of materials fast. Which is why you can just craft 30 and then see a lot. Because you get a lot of 4 star fodder units that you can use to rank up, alright? So once you are at my stage, you should actually craft 100. So right now we're going to craft, we have actually enough for 3 weapons again. So first one. Okay, we got trash. Second one here. I should do armors first, I should have done that, my bad. Second one is trash. Third one is probably trash, guys, just saying. And we'll have enough to do one more rank up, by the way. Okay, so third one is trash as well, so we'll do armors right now. And the thing that you want to get usually is HP armors. Yep. And sometimes if you're lucky, you'll get a 6 star armor. So both all those 3 crafts that I did just now, none of them were 6 stars. So very unfortunate for me. So there is 6 100 crafts here that... <sighs> okay, so what we'll do now is we'll do one last rank up for you guys. And... Okay, what am I doing? I'm lost guys, because I'm feeling very sad right now. Alright, you don't know how, 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 how much time you take. Alright. Alright. You don't know how much time it takes. Alright. So actually Farm 75 Dragons. Okay? Within three days. Alright. So if you have not stop that like button right now, please Please do it man. Please. I have no words. Alright, so Basically, I have just showed that it's not worth it. I'm kidding, alright? Who am I kidding? Okay, we got three six-star weapons, alright? This is what you usually get. A lot of uh, people that do level 99 dragons. Ah, Kazoo, I get this all the time. I know. And I, I feel, alright? So they get it all the time. Six-star weapons where they will get the max uh, tier for the percent here and they will get 180. I know, like the Dark Pew, he got plus 27% speed, but 180 P attack weapon. Which is actually not bad, by the way, for PvP, just to share with you. Because uh, 180 to 240 is 60 P attack difference, so if you get both of them plus 5, it's only be 60 physical damage difference. Which is significant, by the way, but the 27% speed is more important in PvP than in PvE. So if you still get the 27% speed weapons, you're still good to go and keep the 180 damage run. But this too, if you really have nothing, nothing out there for your shame, Pretty good, and I got a seven night, you know, Empress Eileen spear from ranking up in the end. So not too bad for me. And I got what two trash weapons in the end. Yep, but in the end I got like fodders to plus five my stuff, which is which is all right. You know, could be worse, guys. Could be worse. I could have gotten nothing. All right, thank you, Net Marble. I could have gotten nothing, so thank you. But that'll be about it for this video. Hope you guys understand rates much more, and yeah. If you're a new player and you're early to meet game, you're playing this game for 20 days, 30 days, 2 months. If you have not worked on your raid team, I implore you to work on your raid team. It is... Let me just share with you, alright, this person. Before I go, alright. Let me just share with you all my friends here. All my guild mates. Alright, all my guild mates. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Where is this? Alright, if you visit this guy, this guy started the game later than me, alright? And if you look at his heroes, alright, look at this. 340, 24 speed. 280, 24 speed. Where? From dragons. This? From dragons. Look at his Lina. Alright, Lina? From dragons. 
from dragons. Alright, back rows. Look at this. 27% speed. Dragon Slayer. Dragons. 27% speed. 300 attack. Dragons. 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 32% counter is the highest, by the way. And he got a very good roll for the defense here. I think decent. Plus 5, 200. This one is only 164, so you can see the difference here. And this guy, BTW, started the game later than me. And I mean, he played he played more than me. He's not paid to win, by the way. Just to share with you. He is not paid to win. And look at him. Wait, what? I expected to see him higher. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, he's 4.3k ratings. And if you notice, look, he doesn't have level 40 till. He's using a level 40 Black Rose. He has a level 40 B Dam. He has a level 30, 32 Jipara. Not too bad. Yes, sir. look at this, he's using 30 ace! 30 aces in 4.3k master tier! Ladies and gentlemen, how did he do it? Ladies and gentlemen, how did he do it? There you go. 27 speed, ladies and gentlemen. Speed, matter, and look at Shane. There you go. There you go. Look at this. Spare weapons, just on the Ruri for funsies. And then look at the Rachel. Level 40 Rachel, ladies and gentlemen. Level 40 Rachel, and then look at... He even has a level 40 Legion just for funsies as well. Okay, sick. See guys, work on your dragons, alright. Work on your dragons. So, I think that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. My name has been Nakawa Kazoo. If you want to check out the streams or the YouTube channel whenever I upload videos or whenever I'm live. Alright, this is actually recorded on live stream. That's why you can see the chat at the bottom right corner. Be sure to follow the stream, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I always thank you guys for checking out my videos. Hope this one will help your friends out. If you have friends who first started out started out on Seven Nights and they do not know what to do, get them to check out this video here. The great guide for Seven Nights. My name is Anakwa Kazu. Thanks for watching once again. God bless. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Goodbye.